It's on your honeymoon, guys. All right. I just want to congratulate on your honeymoon. Bro, just stop. You got paparazzi. You understand? It's like the first stop. Just stop. Yeah, but I'm in the alley. No, no. Listen, bro. Yeah. It's like antagonistic. I, I just need this one shot, please. No, you got the shot, but I'm saying it's It like, was not good, but I respect you. It's like, that's my thing. It's like, you don't even know. Y'all just jump up on people like this, and it's just like... I apologize the if I caused you trouble, and you told me to stop, and I stopped. Do you know the first time I ever took medication, why I was? Because I got mad at paparazzi. I'm so sorry. You know, you know what paparazzi it was? No. The same one that shot Britney. No. Oh. So what happens if I take your photo, if I take your camera right now? I would not like that. Please don't do this. I walk away, and we're all good. Oh, but would I like it? Do What's I like y'all doing that to me all the time? No, I apologize and I'm walking away. So let people know. Yes, I will. Let all the paparazzi know it's up. Everywhere he goes, all eyes are on Kanye West. However, in recent years, the rap mogul has intensified his infamy with presidential campaigns, controversial social media outbursts, and more recently, anti-Semitism and admissions of admiring Adolf Hitler. It doesn't take much for Kanye to dominate pop culture spaces, but news of his purported marriage has been a main focus. It was reported that just months after his divorce from Kim Kardashian, was finalized, the Jesus Walks crooner married Yeezy architect Bianca Sensori. The Donda icon often makes friends with the paparazzi, but these days, he seems a tad more irritated. A new video has surfaced, taken by a person filming Kanye and Sensori during a private moment. The person behind the camera is yelling at the pair about them being on their honeymoon, to which the rapper repeatedly tells him to stop. What stands out is Kanye's struggle with meds, which he eventually opens up about and talks about with the paparazzi. So, does this confirm Kanye is truly ailing? Let's find out more. In the footage now viral, Kanye West calls the paparazzi antagonistic and demands that the man leaves them alone. The man behind the camera insists they were far enough away and only needs just one shot, to which Kanye replies, you got the shot. But I'm saying, you don't even know. Y'all just jump up on people like this in the street just like. He continues rattling, saying, you know the first time when I took medication, where I was. I got mad at the paparazzi. You know who the paparazzi was. The same one that shot Britney. It's assumed he's referring to the moment Britney Spears shaved her head all those years ago. My dad did photography for newspapers. It has to be some kind of balance, some kind of conversation. I can't live in California and my life like I'm some type of caged animal. He continues. Hangy questioned who the photographer worked for and the man said he was independent. He told him it wasn't right that someone could just walk up on a stranger at night and take photos without repercussions. The legendary producer also spoke about not having any say in how or where the photos are published. He added that celebrities also don't get a cut on money's earned. The paparazzi told Yi that he stopped photographing him when asked. Still, he continued to record and release the footage. In the recent past, Kanye has been adamant that he does not need medication to manage his struggles with bipolar disorder. He also has complained that medical treatments for bipolar disorder, like lithium, which has helped many people with the condition leave healthy, stable lives, blood his emotions and creativity. Now, new revelations about the rapper and his own public comments have generated concern in some corners that he may be in a manic episode or experiencing untreated symptoms of bipolar disorder. His dramatic split with celebrity Kim Kardashian, erratic Instagram posts attacking Kardashian and comedian Pete Davidson, and the grandiose self-proclamations in his recent Netflix documentary are some of the signs that his condition should be taken seriously. Sometime back in 2018, the always provocative rapper posted several dozen times on Twitter, which was often his public megaphone of choice. Many of the tweets concerned a topic that has been central to both his creative output and his public persona, his mental health. Kane, who revealed his diagnosis of bipolar disorder in 2017, declared he had been off his medication for six months for the good of his music. I cannot be on meds and make watch the throw level or dark fantasy level music, he said in one tweet. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy and Watch the Throne, a collaboration with Jay-Z, are two of Kanye's most beloved albums. He has been open about his mental health in the past, particularly his bipolar disorder diagnosis. In a 2019 episode of My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman, he spoke about the stigma of crazy and how sometimes people write off his opinions because of his diagnosis. They love to cut your sentences off halfway. What you say doesn't mean as much, he explained to host David Letterman. Sometimes, for me, I think it's a form of protection for me, because if I'm peeping on something that people don't want me to think about or know as a celebrity, oh, he's just crazy, and then I go home. If they didn't think I was crazy, it may be a problem. During the candid sit-down, he also addressed his 2016 hospitalization and how mental health was something that, you know, we're going to have to take time to understand.
He said he was starting to research the topic because of the experience of when you go through an episode. If you actually go to the hospital, there's a moment that I have to talk about publicly that has to be changed, he explained. So I'm going to talk about this publicly so this moment can change. Throughout his career, Kanye West hasn't shied away from controversy. In fact, he has a tendency to stir the pot, and some fans now believe all along this has been due to the rapper struggling with his condition and managing the meds. Whether speaking his mind or calling out a fellow celebrity for something he doesn't agree with, Kanye is nothing, if not vocal, about his beliefs. When it comes to OMG moments, the designer, who shares four children with reality star Kim Kardashian, is often front and center. At the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, the Good Morning hitmaker left his mark after infamously interrupting Taylor Swift's acceptance speech for Best Female Video. The rapper jumped on stage and took over the mic, saying, I'm going to let you finish, before declaring that Beyoncé had one of the best videos of all time. A decade later, the Yeezy founder stood by his claim, telling Nick Cannon in September 2020 that if God didn't want me to run on stage and say, Beyoncé had the best video, he wouldn't have sat me in the front row. In May 2018, the Georgian native shocked fans when he made comments about slavery. You hear about slavery for 400 years. 400 years. That sounds like a choice, he said during a TMZ live interview. Like, that was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all. It's like, we're mentally in a prison. I like the word prison because slavery is too direct to the idea of blacks. Kanye again surprised fans when he made controversial statements about Kardashian and abortion in July 2020 as a part of his first presidential rally campaign. During his South Carolina political appearance, the artist revealed that when the KKW beauty founder got pregnant with their eldest child, North, the pair almost terminated the pregnancy. We talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. He recalled, I called my wife and she said, we're gonna have this baby. I said, we're gonna have this child. He followed up the presidential candidate's speech with a tweet storm of accusations directed at his family, claiming Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. He also called Kris Jenner Kris John Nunn in a since-deleted tweet and told her she was not allowed around my children. As the drama made headlines, Kardashian publicly addressed the Grammy winner's mental health struggles. A source revealed that the reality star was meeting with lawyers to discuss ending her marriage. In February 2021, it was confirmed that Kardashian filed for divorce after almost seven years of marriage. The celebrated rapper, singer, record producer, fashion designer, and entrepreneur has since moved on to a new relationship. A brilliant romance, Kanye West's love life became a major topic of conversation after he was linked to Bianca Sensori, two months after his divorce from Kim Kardashian was finalized. The musician was first spotted dining with his Yeezy employee in January 2023 at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills. Shortly after Kanye went public with Sensori, it was confirmed that the pair had a small marriage ceremony. While it was unclear whether the milestone was legally binding or not, a source exclusively told us that it was very real for the twosome. That same month, Kanye and Sensori were seen spending time with his daughter North, whom he shares with Kardashian. The music producer and the Skims founder are also proud parents to Saint, Chicago, and Song. Just a day or two after their controversial encounter with the paparazzi, the couple went shopping at Balenciaga, which landed in hot water in December after releasing a controversial ad campaign showcasing toddlers holding teddy bears and BDSM-inspired outfits, along with a second series of ads that pictured court documents pertaining to child pornography laws. Both the brand and its creative director, Demna, apologized following the backlash. Interestingly, Balenciaga cut ties with West last October amid the 45-year-old rapper's inflammatory anti-Semitic remarks. The Grammy winner had previously enjoyed a close relationship with the luxury label, collaborating with Demna on Yeezy Gap apparel and looks for his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. Kanye even made his runway debut at Balenciaga during Paris Fashion Week, mere days before the house ended their partnership. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!